about this. This is the yin and yang symbol. I know everyone's familiar with that. Where you have darkness on one side and light on the other. And there's a little bit of darkness in the light. And there's a little bit of light in the darkness. Can you apply that to God Almighty? There is no darkness in Him. There's no bad in Him. He is light. But this is what the Taoists and the Buddhists say is God. They say this energy is the force of the universe. New Agers teach that this is God. God is just an, an energy. This sh shape and symbol began with this symbol. I'm still teaching martial arts. I was teaching a style called Bakwa. I was teaching uh, Chinese Qigong. I was teaching uh, Aikido and Kung Fu and boxing. All of these different things. One of the things that I taught was called Bakwa. And it was like Tai Chi. It was a slow moving form. But the form that we did, you always did the form in this pattern. You moved the whole form. And when I say a form, it's like a series of movements. You walked around this circle doing these motions and you would move your hands in certain motions, but you always went like so many times clockwise, so many times counterclockwise, and it was all done very slowly. And I thought, well, that's interesting, because I've seen that symbol in martial arts before. So I went home and I went through all of my notebooks, things I had been taught, books that I had bought from other martial arts masters, and I looked up this symbol, and what I found shocked me. So I came to my, my class of advanced students, and I told them, I said, I want you guys to do some homework this week. I said, go find out what this symbol means. Because you can't tell somebody something. It's better if they find out for themselves. And they came back the next week, and all of them looked really solemn. And I asked them, I said, share. And we had about eight or ten students there in that class, advanced students. All of them found this symbol in different places. They found it in Chinese martial arts, Japanese martial arts. They found it in the occult. They found it in Wicca. They found it in... Um, gaming magazines, they found it in witchcraft books and Harry Potter books and they found it in all these different places, tattoo books but you know what the symbol means? The Sun God. Every single time they found it that symbol means the Sun God. Well the Chinese say that's what yin and yang or yin and yang started off as. You had the center point and the outer point. Bueno, pues el yoga, desde el principio, cualquier movimiento que se hace, toda la postura, cualquier asano, ya es una forma de canalizarse hacia las deidades hindúes. No hay una parte que sea física solamente, sino que todo es para poder conectar con sus deidades.